Hello you guys, it's Katie and welcome back to another video. In today's video I have another crochet with me as the fifth and final video for Creative Crochet Month. So Creative Crochet Month here on my channel has been where I am uploading extra videos on Wednesday for the month of March because it is National Crochet Month as well as my three year YouTube anniversary. So today's video is the fifth and final video since it is the fifth and final Wednesday in March. So today's video is going to be a crochet with me for a little dog as well as I am introducing you guys to my dog. Now here in the beginning of this video I'm going to introduce him and then give you guys a little bit of a rundown about him because he is probably going to be a star of this channel pretty much. He already has been featured in a couple different videos and then we're going to get on to crocheting the actual dog and that's what's going to be the portion of this video. Now I'm not trying to recreate my dog off of crocheting this dog, I just found this dog pattern and I thought it was super cute, so that's what I'm going to be making today, and of course the dog pattern and the yarns and all of the materials that I'm using will be linked below for you guys. Now as far as my dog, his name is Bruno, for those of you that don't know, he has an Instagram page so I'll link it below if you want to follow it. Now he is a Skipper Key Chihuahua mix. We did adopt him in December, so we don't know like all that much about him. We only know what the vet can tell us pretty much because he was adopted. I mean, he was found as a stray actually at our Toyota dealership that's here in Tampa, Florida. So he was taken to the Pet Resource Center. It's Hillsborough County Pet Resources and um, they take and adopt a lot of animals there and spay and neuter them and all of that. So we went there looking for a dog and found Bruno. <laughs> Now, as far as we know, he is a Skipper Key Chihuahua mix, which a Skipper Key is a breed that I was not familiar with before getting him, but I'll insert a picture of what a Skipper Key looks like and then a Chihuahua so you can see that he's kind of a mix of both. It kind of makes sense, um, at least that's as far as we know. Of course, he may be a mix of a couple different things, but um, that's just like the best that, you know, the vet could guess. Um, and he is a little bit over a year old. So he's still a little bit in his puppy stage, but he is a little bit over a year old. And um, yeah, that is Bruno, and he is definitely going to be a star of this channel. He pretty much already is. You guys have already told me that you love seeing him in different videos, and I'm sure he'll probably be on the couch with me as I'm crocheting the little dog throughout this video as well. But anyways, I did want to do a little video introducing him formally since of course he is going to be on my channel quite often and I did also just want to crochet this little dog so I decided to combine these two together to introduce Bruno and to make this little dog. So with that though we're going to get on to the crochet with me portion of today's video. Alright you guys so Bruno is joining me, he's a little bit off camera but um, I have some Parfait Chunky yarn in the color Teddy Bear and a 5mm hook that I'm going to be using. And then I also purchased this pattern off of Etsy, so it'll be linked below for you guys, of course. Alright, I also put on my compression gloves because I almost forgot. And now I'm just going to continue working. All right, here's the snout, and now it's working into the head.
All right, so here's the head and the nose and everything. And this is gonna be a lot bigger than I thought, but I think it's gonna be really cute. So I have some 12 millimeter safety eyes that I'm about to place in the face, and then I'm gonna continue working into the body. Okay, I think I'm gonna like these 20 millimeter better. Okay, yeah, I think that looks better, so I'm gonna go ahead and place those backs on. All right, you guys, so here's the head I'm about to finish off and sew it closed, and then I'm gonna make the ears. All right, here's the first ear. I'm gonna do the second one off camera, which also I think I'm gonna need more yarn than this because this is turning out a lot bigger than I thought. So I'm hoping I have another skein, we'll have to see. All right, I'm working on the second ear now and I just ran out of yarn, but luckily I do have this skein. So I'm going to go ahead and start on this one now and hope that this is enough to finish the whole body and everything because I think this is the last one I have. All right, and I have both ears done, so now I'm gonna be working on the neck, which works into the body.
Okay, so Bruno was all up in my business trying to get me to play with him. So I will be doing that while I'm also still crocheting. And this is what the body's looking like right now. <laughs> it looks funky, but I'm about to do rounds of just single crochet now. All right, here's what the body looks like. So I'm going to cut this with a long tail and whip stitch this closed and then stuff it as I'm closing it as well. All right, here's the finished body all sewn up and everything. So now I have legs to make and a tail and then everything to sew together. Okay, it's actually many hours later and I realized that I didn't actually ever show you guys the final product. So here is what this dog looks like. I think it's so, 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 so cute. And I'm gonna pull up how long it took me for the final timer so I can tell you guys this was a very long project, probably the longest out of anything I've made in a long time. It took me three hours and 34 minutes to make this. So unfortunately it's gonna have to be kind of a more expensive item at my markets, but I think it's really cute. So I'm hoping somebody will be willing to purchase it. And it did have quite a lot of sewing, as you guys saw the tail, the body, the feet, and the ears were all different pieces, and the head actually. So all of that had to be sewn together. But I really do like how this turned out and I hope you guys enjoyed watching me make it. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up. 
Let me know in the comments down below what you thought of this little dog that I crocheted and if you liked the little introduction of Bruno. I hope you guys did enjoy. I wanted to like actually grab him for the intro of this video but normally I film at night and he's already asleep so I decided to not disturb him and just insert some pictures and videos of him anyway because he probably would squirm out of my arms anyway and want to leave. So I figured it's probably best anyway to just film this video this way. But I hope you guys enjoyed getting to officially meet him and hearing a little more about him and in general just, you know, seeing some cute pictures and videos of him. If you guys did enjoy this video, of course, give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below if you enjoyed. Now, if you guys do want to see more videos from me, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and turn on the post notification bell that way you know every single time I upload a brand new video. Liking and subscribing and commenting on my videos really does help out my channel, so thank you in advance if you do any of those things. And now if you guys do want to see more from me, you can always check out more videos of mine, my vlog, my Etsy shop, my Ripley shop, all of my social medias, and my second channel. All of that is always included in the description box of every single video for you guys. As well as for today's video, of course, you can find the pattern and materials that I used also linked below. And Bruno's Instagram if you guys want to follow that linked below. So with all of that, thank you guys so much for watching today's video, and I will see you guys here in the next one. Goodbye!